The sun's doing its job. It's starting to warm up here in downtown Chicago, as are the men. Uh, they just completed their 11th mile, 52 minutes, 38 seconds. 447 for the last mile, so they continue to run right at course record pace or slightly under that course record set back in uh, 2009 by Sammy Wingiro, 205.41. And that's a great pace. That's an aggressive pace a little bit for a warmish day. Just any concerns, though, that this aggressive pace that they fade? Because I know you mentioned early, earlier that some of these guys just tend to thrive with, with the warm weather. When it gets hotter, so do they. Well, as, as Steve Jones mentioned, uh, they don't have barriers, uh, mm -hmm. self-imposed barriers put in their brain in terms of the conditions or the course or whatever. They just yeah. get out and roll, and I think that's why they've had the success that they do. And you, you can see, you know, they're picking the pace up, they're slowing it down, they're picking it up, slowing it down. Uh, there's still a, a good pack there right now, and there's a lot of the race to, st to still go, but um, I can st see it starting to thin out maybe in, in five or six miles' time, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and the guys that really matter are still going to be there. All right, let's go to the lead men's vehicle and Tony Revis. Tony. Well, guys, right now we still have that same 12-man pack. You know, there were 13 at one point, but at Sushi Sato dropped off between two and three miles, and since that time, it's been configured pretty much the same way. Ryan Hall has been running in the very back of this pack, but looking comfortable enough. Every once in a while, and right now, for instance, Wesley Career, a University of Louisville graduate, a Kenyan, but living in the United States, trained up in Flagstaff, Arizona, with Ryan Hall, part, part of the preparation for this marathon over the summer. They're good friends. They're running mm -hmm. side by side. You see signs along the course encouraging Ryan Hall. The cheering you here is for Ryan Hall. So Ryan's got a lot of support out here on the streets of Chicago. And of course, after missing last year's race with fatigue and not starting, he's got a lot of motivation in today's competition. But a guy, Ed, I want to talk about is Bikana Daba from Ethiopia. Yeah. He's right behind Ed Muge. He's in the black. He's one of the, he's the lone Siri, well, the, one of two Ethiopians in this lead pack. Daba's a sub 13 minute 5,000 meter runner last year which is the gold standard for 5,000 meter track running. Couldn't make any money doing it. And he went and ran a marathon in Houston and ran 207 and won $35,000. He's very, very, very efficient. Very efficient. Got tons of speed. He's too aggressive though sometimes. He did that in Boston where he got overly aggressive and finished in ninth place. If he can hold his horses back, my goodness, he looks like a tremendous marathon runner in the offing if he can hold it together. But just look at him right there in the yep. black. Daba, yep. his arms up, no wasted movement whatsoever. No. Just a great, efficient athlete. He looks so efficient, he just kind of shuffles along. A great example of a shuffler. But as a result of that, he's not using a whole lot of energy. And the fact that he's run sub 13 minutes with that shuffle stride just says that he's got economy, but he also has speed. And he looks bored out there. He's running so easy. <laughs> you know, the other thing about his uh, PR of 207.04 and his win in Houston, his debut, that also included a restroom pit stop. <laughs> so he may be faster than that. So I guess he really is efficient. Right? Uh, here's, a look, here's a look at the uh, Honda leaderboard for the men's, the top eight right there. I, I need uh, better eyesight because I can't even well, make this, that this out, is, This is for the Egyptians and Ethiopians because it's in hieroglyphics. <laughs> We're trying to make it out. <laughs> I think I need uh, I need some glasses over here. But you guys mentioned Bakana Daba. Uh, he's really expected to push the pace today. He's making his debut in Chicago. Only has three marathons under his belt. Uh, but somebody to watch for? Well, I think I think Tony hit it right on the head that sometimes he's been a little impetuous in the marathon, not patient. Again, patience followed by destruction rather than imp being impatient early on. He's showing some great patience right here because he's just tucked behind. He's looking very comfortable. He realizes there's some talented people. Now, if he starts pushing the pace all of a sudden mm -hmm. after half marathon, then I get a little bit more nervous about it. But maybe he's learned the lesson. I think they're all looking pretty comfortable right now. Yeah. And then sh all shuffling along a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I think there's something's going to happen, you know, after halfway, and it's, the race is really going to explode then, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you uh, you uh, nodding your head up and down when we were saying how efficient these guys yeah. got, uh, guys look. They look they, they look yeah. good? And that might be his, oh, he almost fell over there. But that might be his uh, marathon shuffle, you know, his track <laughs> shuffle might be looking a little different from that. Because yeah. he is keeping himself in, uh, compact. He's he's not running, wasting any energy. He's, he's trying to run as slow as he can right now, I think. Look at the women. Joan, how are the women looking 
We'll check in with Joan in just a moment to see if Lilia Shobakova, if this is still her race, but we're gonna stick with the men for a little bit, uh, a little wider shot. Looks like the pack has spread out a teeny, teeny bit. Yeah. Well, they're because of the water. Coming up on the water <laughs> bottles and they ran 447 again for their last mile, 205.30 pace. So mile after mile, they blocked onto that pace, 205.30, still under that course record pace of 205.41. Um, and Hall got his uh, water bottle. Looks like all the major guys got their bottles. Daba is asking for water from one of the pace setters and they can share water. Uh, that's not a problem at all. They just went through 20K about 10 seconds ago, probably about 59.30 for 20K. Uh, and so we can look at our splits and kind of uh, determine where they're at. Again, yeah, right around 205, 20 pace, 205, 30 pace. All right, uh, I wanna say thank you to the 1985 champ, Steve Jones. For Thank joining you. us, Steve. A little wave. Thanks a lot. All right. Great. Any predictions? Who's your guy? Uh, no, no, no. No. Okay. He, does, he doesn't do on. that Let's sort see. of thing. I, see, I think it's, it could be Ryan's day today. To okay. Be okay. Uh, if not, then I think some smart money has gone to just send us. All right. So okay. Yep. There you go. Yes. We're right back on the 34th run of the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Stick with us, everybody. to our broadcast coverage. Uh, we'll be covering this until 11 o'clock on NBC5 and NBC Nonstop. You can watch all the way through 1 o'clock to our streaming cam on NBCChicago.com. So you can be in Kenya, Ethiopia, Mexico, doesn't matter where you are across uh, the country, around the world, you can always watch watch on NBCChicago.com. Okay, the men, we are approaching at the halfway point. How are the men looking? Let's take a look at the Xfinity halfway split, guys. Again, these are the world record splits set by Patrick Macau, the current world record holder from Kenya. Okay. So 102.51 for halfway for the men. So a um, little under 206 pace, 205.40-ish uh, pace. And again, that's right where our course record is, Sammy Wanjero. So if they negative split this thing, if they come back a little faster on the second half, they will have that course record. Uh, you don't always see that, however, especially as it continues to heat up. Uh, as the day gets warmer, you would expect the pace to slow a little bit. So uh, they're going to have to keep the intensity going. But they certainly have uh, the pace setters out in front. Um, that's number 42. That's Mayo up front along with uh, Ragusa uh, leading the way. Moses Masrup, who is one most... Moss up, who is one of our favorites, certainly the guy who, if he was 100%, would be the overwhelming favorite, mm -hmm. continues to run, be the first guy right off of those pace setters, uh, wearing the green and red and black of Kenya. And then behind him, or to his side, Bikana Daba from Ethiopia has looked very relaxed, very comfortable. All right, right now, next to the lead pack are Tony Revis. Tony, what's up? Well, Mike, they went through, as you said, 102.51. That's about 11 seconds slower than they wanted no big deal. In 2009, that very cold year when Sammy Wanjiru set the course record, they went through at 102 flat. Now, the, the two years which are most like this year with the conditions, 08 and 2010 last year, they were both, you know, they were faster as well. The pack is strung out as they've head out west on Adams, and now You've got Dixon Chumba off the back slightly. Ryan Hall, second last on that pack. Gomez de Santos from Brazil. And we're starting to get some elongation in this pack. Uh, the last mile was not extraordinarily fast, but I think the accumulation of the pace and the fact that the conditions are starting to get a little bit rough is starting to take a toll. Mosop tucked right in on our pacers. Jonathan Mayo is almost Mosop's personal pacer. I've been told by his coach that if the pace seems a little bit too easy at 25 kilometers, 15.5 miles, Mayo will pick it up for Mosop. We'll see if that happens at the 15 and a half mile mark. But Jonathan Mayo, 42, has been telling Telehun Regasa, P44, look at him, slow down, slow down, look at him. He keeps telling him, you know, you don't push it, don't push it. One's Ethiopian, one's Kenyan, so the Pacers are arguing a little bit. Never a good sign. 
So just so everybody knows, the, the pacer is on the left of the screen, correct, guys? Left and right. No. They're okay. both the yellow and the, okay. and the red. Both pacers. Now, now, Hall is definitely falling off a little bit from that pack. Is, it, is this trouble time, or is he just uh, backing off a little bit to get out of traffic, Tony? No, this is not traffic. This is sort of a break. Chumba's gone. It looks like Ryan is struggling. Dos Santos seems to be, you know, not covering it. No one's made a move, Ed. They're not moving. It's just the accumulated weight. There goes Trefe. Marigou is off, too. So for the contenders, Bernard Diego is the last man on this group. Wesley Career hanging tough. Evans Chariot, the 2008 champion. Little metronome that he is. Bakana Dava from Ethiopia and Moses Mosop. One, two, three, four, five contenders with the two pacers. Mosop right in the back right in the back pocket of our pacers. Daba wants all he can get. Chariots ready for a comeback from 2008. Those are the three men that look best and are tucked right onto these pacers. It's broken up earlier than we anticipated. There's 14 miles, 107 flat, but it seems to be we're on and on early. Okay, and let's go over to Joan. Uh, women just finished a 20K at 105.47. Joan, what's unfolding with the women? Is it still Lilia? It's still uh, Lilia and Ejigayu, and uh, again, Kayota is not far behind them. I'd say she's maybe 10 yards. She's, I think, intentionally staying off their pace. Um, Lilia and Ejigayu are really testing each other right now. I don't even think I see a bead of perspiration on Lilia. She is as cool as a cool cupper, and uh, Dababa, as I said, she doesn't know what's going to happen next because she's never been here before. But they both have very fast 10,000 uh, meter times, and that may come into play as they continue to test each other coming into the halfway mark. Both have run sub uh, 30, 30, 10 Ks. Do you think Shobakova? Do you think Shobakova's a little surprised that Dababa is still there? I, I do. I think uh, Shabakova thought she was going to be in total control of this race. I think she thought everybody was going to take her lead. They know how much this race means to her, and they also know how important that sub-220 uh, marathon time is to her. But Dababa looks great. She just smiled at me. She knows I'm talking about them, I believe. And uh, this is either mm -hmm. lady's race right now. They both look great, and they're very, very fluid, and they both look extremely strong. They know the race really hasn't begun yet. Uh, you guys, we have a little bit of some developing news on the men's side as well. The fastest mile yet, they just ran 436. And I think that would explain why Ryan Hall uh, drifted off the back, because when they upped the tempo, we saw Hall go, we saw Dos Santos slip off, and now really we have five men in that pack, Moses Mossop, Evans Chariot, uh, Bikana Daba, Wesley Career, uh, and Dixon Chumba, who are now trying to stay pace, keep pace with the Rabbits, and a 436 will really shake things up after halfway. Mm -hmm. The Pacers got the, uh, got the word to speed things up a little bit. Like, how, did the, how, did, how does this unfold during the marathon? Did they just, is it their own volition? Do they take cues from somebody to speed up the pace? How do they know to, to slow down or to, to put the pedal to the metal? Well, nor normally the rabbits want to run as even and a consistent as pace as possible. But we did see some discussion between the Ethiopian rabbit and the Kenyan rabbit as to, hey, you're going too fast. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't care. I, I, I want to do this. So I don't know if he's received direction from someone or not, but certainly the pace has picked up. And as a result, that pack has gone from 12 down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, mm -hmm. along with the rabbits. All right. Uh, just in case you're curious, 64,000 bananas will be consumed. Over 58,000 gallons of water will be chugged. We're right back on the Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Good morning again for Pilsen. As you can see, some of the cast panel to show you, but temperatures will make it into the mid 70s by the time most folks are done with this race. So it is going to be slightly warmer than most would prefer, but luckily not going to take it to dangerous levels. We'll continue to watch the numbers for you as they creep into the 70s and the sunshine sticks with us. Paula? That's good news. No dangerous numbers. There are uh, 
20 aid stations, 900 medics uh, scattered throughout the course as well. So the marathon doing their part. Mike, uh, the men, uh, last couple of miles, they're making up some time. Well, 4.43 for the last mile. For the 15 mile mark, 111.42. And, and that's 205-25 pace, so that with the last two miles, 4.43.